Hey friends, my name is Yi, and you're watching Yi Makes It Easy. And welcome to a new video for IGCSE at Matt. And today, we are completing the square for the rules and examples for completing the square. And we looked at logarithms questions only last lesson. And in our next video, we look at completing the square for questions only. But now we'll look into the rules and examples, starting with some basics for when a equals 1. But before you get into it, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any future videos. But anyways, here's some basics for completing the square. So the basics is for when a equals 1. So a is basically a coefficient in an equation or expression. Let's say we have an, an expression of ax squared plus bx plus c. The coefficient will be a, b, and c. So this will be called coefficient. So how you would do completing the square when a equals 1 is that you would first, step 1, you would separate the c, your coefficient of c, like so, like separate it. And then we have the left hand side, which I'll write it here, ax squared plus bx. And you just separate it, plus c. So we need to find a new c coefficient in the inside of the bracket here. So what you would do is that you would get this b coefficient, your b, you would divide it by 2 and square it. So the new c coefficient would be b divided by 2 square. And what you do inside the bracket, you have to undo it outside the bracket so that it's like more e it's like even. Let's say if you plus, then you have to minus. So in this case, and in every case actually, we plus the new C coefficient. That means that you have to minus the new C coefficient on the outside. Right, so. And let's just uh, highlight what I wrote here. Right here, plus, minus. And these are the same values. Right, so. And therefore, this it would be a difference of two squares because you can just simplify it with like two terms like x plus d something. So if you simplify it, it would be x plus v d square plus e. And e is just a, like a simplification of the outside. And that's how you get. So let's just do one example to make sure you all understand and we'll do more examples later on in the video. And let's say we have um, x square plus 4x plus 3. So what you would, do, you would first do is that you would simplify, so you would separate the x coefficient because we know that a equals 1. So it would be x squared plus 4x, if a gap, plus 3. So the new c coefficient would be 4 divided by 2 squared. So 4 divided by 2 is 2 and 2 squared is 4, so it would just be 4 so if you plus 4 in the bracket, you have to minus 4 on the outside. So this would simplify to x plus 2 squared. Because this new value right here is just the b value divided by 2. And the new outside will be 3 minus 4, which will be minus 1. And that's how you get it. And then we have basics for when a is bigger than 1 or a is smaller than 1. So let's say we have the coefficient as well, a, b, and c. So what you will first do is that you will just factorize the a out of the a and the b. And as well as just now, you have to isolate the c and let's separate it. So we have ax squared plus bx plus c. You will have x squared, you have to extract the a or like factorize it. And as well as from the b, so it will be b divided by a plus c. So now you can notice that we have uh, a coefficient of 1 inside the bracket for the x squared, which, we, which we can solve it using the rule last time, uh, like last slide. So it will be b plus uh, b divided by a, like here, b divided by a times 1 over 2, because times 1 over 2 is the same as divide by 2. So b over a divided by 2 squared. So it will be b over a divided by Mm, times by 1 over 2 squared. So what you do to the inside, you have to do the up to the outside, right? So b over a times 1 over 2 squared. But in this completing the square where a is bigger than 1 or smaller than 1, how, remember how we extracted the a from the outside? 
sorry, to the outside, like factorize A. So you also have to times A by this. So that it's even, because that's an A, because if you times it together, this will have an A. So you need to have, make sure that this has an A, so that it's more, it's like it reaches an equilibrium. So we have A, and A, 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 this, and then A. And let's do an example to make sure that we understand. So let's say we have 2x squared plus 3x plus 4. We would separate it. We have to extract or like factorize the 2 from the outside to the outside. 2x squared plus 3 over 2x and plus 4. So the new C term would be C coefficient would be 3 over 2 divided by 2 or 3 over 4 and square that. So it would be 9 over 16. And you have to minus 9 over 16 in the outside, but you have to times by 2 as well. So 2, 9 over 16, which will get us 2x plus 3 over 4 squared. And on the outside, it would be plus 23 over 8. Oh, over 8. And that's the final answer. So moving on, we have some basics for extra and max and minimum point, or maximum and minimum point. So first we have a basic of how to expand the bracket. So x plus a squared would be this, and not x squared plus a squared, and that's incorrect. And the same for a negative, it is not x squared minus a squared, it's incorrect. And you can see how they relate, like these two terms will be the same, like plus and plus and this will be negative. And this is how you find the maximum and minimum point for completing the square. So let's say you have this expression where you have done the completing the square on an expression or equation and you get x plus a squared plus b. To find the maximum and minimum or minimum point, you can just do minus a and comma b. So minus a would be this. Let's just highlight this. a minus a and b. And B. So let's say you have an, an expression of x plus 2 squared and plus 3. The maximum or minimum point would be minus 2 and 3. Because 2 in here, 2 and 3 and 3. However, however, if you have x minus 2 squared plus 3, the maximum or minimum point would be 2, 3. Because as we said just now, the a coefficient has to be a like it will be a negative because it's here. Like a, it will be a plus here, but here we have a negative sign. And in this case, the a will be negative 2. So negative, negative 2 will just be 2, which is what we have over here. 2 and 2. And let's move on to some examples for completing the square. So number one, we have x squared plus 2x plus 16. So we know that a is just one, so it's quite simple. You just isolate the c coefficient plus 16. So the new c coefficient would just be 2 for the b coefficient, 2 divided by 2 squared. So it would just be 1 plus 1. And on our side, it would be minus 1. So simplify the, simplify the bracket would be x plus 1 squared plus 15. And that's our final answer. And for number 2, we have 3 plus 2x minus x squared. We just rewrite this to x minus x squared plus 2x plus 3. So you can notice that the a coefficient is less than 1 because it's a minus. So you have to factorize the minus. It will be minus x squared minus 2x and the 3 you have to isolate it so you have to find the new c coefficient it will be minus 2 divided by 2 which is just uh, minus 1 minus 1 squared so it will be 1 so for, on the outside you have to put 1 but since you have to times it by the negative over here it will be minus 1 so it's a highlight this minus minus and 1 1 so the final answer would be a negative 
x squared minus 2x plus 1, you can just simplify to uh, x minus 1 squared, and 3 minus 1 is 2, so it'll be plus 2, like so. And then we have the third question, where x is 2, sorry, about what, where a is 2. So, 2 here, so we have to factorize the 2 out of a and b, so it would be 2 x squared minus 3 x and isolate the c, the c coefficient so this new c term right here would be minus 3 divided by 2 squared so minus 3 divided by 2 will be minus 3 over 2 squared will be 9 over 4 so it'll be 9 over 4 and on the outside it will be minus 2 times 9 over 4 like so 2 and two, minus 2 and 9 over 4 and 9 over 4 and if you simplify this the final answer will get you 2 bracket x square sorry x minus 3 over 2 squared minus 3 over 2 and that's our final answer and then for our last question question number 4 you can see that the a coefficient is 3 but you can just do it the same way. So you have to factorize the 3 out of the a coefficient and the b coefficient. So it will be 3x squared minus 8 over 3x and isolate the c term or the c coefficient. And to find the new c coefficient inside the bracket, you do b divided by 2. So it will be minus 8 over 3 divided by 2 or times by 1 over 2 to get you minus 4 over 3. And minus 4 over 3, you have to square it as well to get us plus 16 over 9. And on the outside, it will be minus 3 times 16 over 9. So let's just highlight this 3 and 3, and 16 over 9 and 16 over 9. So if you simplify it, you will get 3 bracket x minus 4 over 3 squared and on the outside it will be minus 1 over 3 and that's our final answer and that's it for this rules and examples video where I talk about completing the square where I talk about like the basics where a is equal to 1 and a is smaller than or bigger than 1 and this video might be confusing if, you, if you're doing it the first time so just drop me any comments if you don't understand anything and if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any future videos. And if you have any comments or constructive feedbacks about my website or my videos or anything else, just drop them in the comment section and I'll reply to them. And check out my Instagram in the description for more daily content. And if you need any resources or lesson slides from my lesson, just check out my website in the description or you can type it out in your browser at www.yemakeseasy.com. And I hope you all find it useful and helpful and I'll see you all in the next video which will be the questions for completing the square. Until then, stay safe and happy learning.